Welcome into Wager Talk TV. Alongside Adam Trigger and Dave Koken, I'm Megan Payton. We've got college football. It's the Battle of Bedlam, Oklahoma State versus OU. This is in Norman. Look, records all aside, this rivalry is one of the best, and we're seeing it a week early. Normally, this OSU-OU game yeah. is the week of Thanksgiving, but hey, we get a little bit of a early Thanksgiving present. Uh, Oklahoma State bounced back this uh, last week against Iowa State. OU has been over underwhelming this year, two and five conference record, yet this has been one of the best rivalries. I don't think we can really take much into consideration when looking at these two teams. OU has dominated this rivalry, yet OSU did win last season. Dave, you first. What do you've got for OSU OU? Not much. Um, I guess I'll go mindset here, which is that Oklahoma State. Did get a good win last week. I don't think much of Iowa State this year, but at least it's a it's positive for the team. This season got away from Oklahoma early, and mm -hmm. they kind of look like they're just playing out the string. Uh, you know, obviously, this is a program that's used to be playing for something important at this time of year, and that's not the case here. Rivalry matchup, maybe they get fired up, but I, I think I'm more confident that Gundy is going to have his team ready and that, I guess, puts me on the Oklahoma State side. That said, not even close to a game I'd be thinking of actually putting money on. I don't really like either of these teams right now. So it's just a lean for Oklahoma State, and that's as far as I'm going to go with that. Maybe Adam's got something more substantive on this game. Well, Oklahoma State's not out yet for Big 12 championship game. Uh, they need to win the next two, and then they do need some help. 77% of the money right now on Oklahoma State. Adam, what do you think for uh, this this rivalry matchup that we love to watch? Well, I mean, we'll, the start will point out, amazingly, Oklahoma unranked, the touchdown favorite over ranked Oklahoma State. That yeah. certainly at least catches my eye. Um, <laughs> I'm not much of a prop better, but maybe we can bet – you know, over turnovers in this game because both <laughs> teams seem to turn it over like crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. Both force them, and, and it'll probably come down to, to you know, that's I'm kind of with Dave on. There's no way my money's my money's going to go near this game because it's probably just going to be the, the the you know who turns it over less, ending up winning this game. I like Oklahoma, but but to have to win it by more than a touchdown, I I mean I don't know if I want to be there either. Um, Oklahoma State, the defense. You know, one of the things I said about Oklahoma State coming into this season uh, was the defense is, was going to be worse than last year. It is far worse than it is than it was last year. One of statistically, one of the worst in the country right now. I think that might be a little bit harsh considering there, there's a a couple games, namely the Kansas State game, that were just complete, you know, disasters for Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma, I mean, every week I think, well, this is going to be the week they figure it out, and then they do. They just don't. They don't. And and I think now we're, we're almost at the end of the season, so I think it's safe to say that this is just what this Oklahoma team is um, this year, and it's and that's certainly not a team that I want to back laying more than a touchdown. So I, I I'm kind of I guess I'll I'll side with Dave here, um, the points and just the fact that it's. It is a rivalry game. We probably will see some scoring. It it's hard to see Oklahoma winning this by, you know, just running away with it. Uh, so I'll lean with Dave with the points, but but again, it's just not a strong lean for me. I don't put a ton of stock into the Iowa State win. I, I think that that was more, you know, their their offense didn't do a whole lot there. So it's this is a tough game. It's probably going to be mis mistake late in football, I would say. So I'll lean with Dave. Plus the points with the Cowboys. Yeah, you know, I, I just to further elaborate on one thing: how how rough must it be to be an Oklahoma player this year? You know, all these kids who went there, if they're still there, they're not there with their coach. <laughs> their coach left for greener pastures, and their coach might actually find a way into the playoffs. It's got to be tough for these Oklahoma players to not be really disappointed. And I think it's impacted their entire season. Absolutely. Uh, OU has won this rivalry, though. 90 
to 19. There's been seven ties. So I, seven and a half, is it a lot? I think so. Uh, we'll see how that shifts. The total right now at 66. Kickoff Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Adam. Amazing insight from them. More from them always on wagertalk.com. If you haven't, by the way, go download the Wager Talk TV app. All this content is there. It's very user-friendly. You can find Adam on Twitter at TopFlightSI, and you can find Dave at Twitter at Dave Koken. Thank you guys very much. We'll continue to preview college football.